So today's video is just going to be a quick one to show you exactly how we calculate the concentration of a solution in grams per decimeter cubed. If you haven't heard of decimeter cubed before, it's just a measurement of volume equal to 1000 centimeters cubed and is the same size as one liter of water. Now the equation for concentration is mass divided by volume, which we can put into a formula triangle like this, with mass being measured in grams and volume in decimeters cubed. If you haven't used formula triangles before, they are just a way of rearranging formulas without actually having to move anything around. Basically, the horizontal line means divide, and the vertical line means multiply. So you just cover up the thing that you want and read the triangle. So if we wanted to find the concentration, we'd cover up the C and do mass divided by volume. Or if we wanted the mass, we'd do concentration times volume. Finally, if we wanted volume, we would do mass divided by concentration. So if we had 40 grams of sodium hydroxide dissolved in 2.5 decimeters cubed of water, the concentration would be 40 grams divided by 2.5 decimeters cubed. So 16 grams per decimeter cubed. And instead of writing per decimeters cubed every time, we can just write dm to the power of minus three, as the minus here means the same thing as per. Or if we had 24 grams of copper sulfate in 480 centimeters cubed of water, we would first divide the 480 centimeters cubed by 1000 to convert it to 0 0.48 decimeters cubed, and would then do 24 grams divided by 0 0.48 decimeters cubed to give us our concentration of 50 grams per decimeter cubed. As you can see in this question, it's always important to check the units of the figures you're given, as being given things in kilos instead of grams, or centimeters instead of decimeters, is one of the most common ways that they can try to trip you up in an exam. Now, we said at the beginning that we can also use this equation to work out the mass if we're told the concentration and volume. For example, a 400 centimeters cubed sample of hydrochloric acid has a concentration of 20 grams per decimeter cubed. What mass of hydrogen chloride is in the solution? If we look at our formula triangle, we can see that mass, which is on the top, must be concentration times volume. So we just turn our 400 centimeters cubed into decimeters cubed by dividing it by 1000 and multiply this 0.4 decimeters cubed by 20 to give us a mass of 8 grams. So there must have been 8 grams in our original sample of 400 centimeters cubed. If you haven't heard yet, you can find all of our videos on our website, cognito.org. You'll also find questions, flashcards, exam style questions, and past papers. And we track all of your progress so that you always know what to study next. So sign up for free by clicking here or browse our playlist here on YouTube.